In this video, I will tell you about the Autofibo Indicator version 2.5. The indicator was prepared for the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms. You will learn about how to install it and how to use it. Go to the link I provided earlier, iefxware.pl forward slash en forward slash autofibo, and you will find yourself on a page where you can download Autofibo in the latest version 2.5. Here you can see information about Autofibo, its main advantages. If you click the Download Now button, you should be taken to a page where there is a form. In this form, enter your name, email and phone number and give both consents, which are below the form, and click Send. And after a while we should receive a message to our email inbox. Here you should see such a confirmation about sending a message. We should receive an email to our inbox with information and a link to download Autofibo. Now when we go into the mailbox you should already have this email in your mailbox with the information and with the download link. That is, in the email you have a link to both MT4 version 2.5 and MT5, as well as installation instructions. Also, we will download this version on MT5. It has already downloaded for us here, we open the directory in which it is downloaded. When we select it for we can choose, copy. Now where do we want to copy it to? The moment we enter our MT5 terminal and click on, file and click on, open data folder, the folder will appear. Precisely the place where we will want to drop this indicator into. We click in the, MQL5 subdirectory and in the subdirectory in that, MQL5, dash, indicators. And now if we have made for ourselves before on this open directory where Orbex Autofibo is on this file with right click and copy, then we can click it here with right click and paste. Alternatively, you can also simply drag the file from one window to another. We can close this window and all we need to do now is to do something like that in MT5, go back to our terminal, right click on the indicators and click on refresh. And at this point in the list of indicators, we should see the Orbex underscore Autofibo underscore 2.5 underscore EN indicator. We are ready to start the indicator. Let's see from scratch maybe on some chart, e.g. on the euro dollar, and put on the chart Autofibo. We put ourselves on H1 with our Autofibo indicator, and here in the lower left corner appeared a control panel of this indicator, and on the last swing we have already drawn Autofibo. Right away with the novelty of version 2.5, that is, an additional price reaction zone. We can now go through such a multi interval analysis. On the euro dollar, we see a monthly long downward swing and there is a return to the reaction zone, which you can see just on the FIBO. And see how perfectly at 61.8 it just touched the price at the point and pulled back. Well, and D1, we had the last upward swing at this point, and again we see Autofibo has drawn us upward levels together with a zone of just reaction around 50 and 61.8. And at the moment the euro dollar is testing this zone. And then, as this indicator allows, we have such an analysis, where on one chart we see, in addition to the current one, also two higher TFS. At the same time higher, provided that we define for ourselves that they are higher. At the moment we are on H4, and defined we have additionally H1, D1. H1, of course, will not show, but D1 we can already turn on and see what is happening and where the price is. Also in the context of this higher interval that is D1. As we move to H1 we see very much the same as on H4. The same situation further we also see these levels from D1. Well, what is starting to happen? We have some consolidation under 61.8 and at the same time we are on H1 and this last swing that went down. We also already have a zone drawn where the price is likely to respond to us, if the downward movement ends here and the price returns higher. Also. This will be an important piece of information if we want to play just some strategy here related to this descent and correction, to 61.8.
and what we could hear, for example, try to play. So classically the price very often reacts at 61.8. How it will be at this point we don't know, but we can create such a strategy for ourselves, which will consist of always entering at 61.8 and targeting. We target up to 50, meaning that this price will come back to us here and hit 50. And this is, we can assume, our trade, risk reward, or risk to profit one to one. And then we will have a stop loss at a similar distance as here between 50 and 61.8, only the other way 61.8 plus this distance. And this is where we should place a stop loss. And now in order not to calculate this every time, I will show you what has appeared in Autofibo 2.5 which allows such determination of the stop-loss location to be automated. That is, we will go into the settings of the indicator, and here appeared such a thing in addition to the standard FIBO parameters as the ability to define custom levels. And now if we choose, here we have show custom and we choose that we want to show it. And here we have to enter the value that this custom one should have, so that it starts drawing for us here on the chart. How do you calculate it for yourself? That after the simplest way is to just take the difference that is here, that is between 50 and 61.8, that is 11.8, and add it to 61.8. We'll add 11.8 and we have 73.6 and that's the level we'll define for ourselves here. We have 73.6, we click OK. And this is the level at which we could, for example, with this strategy, assume that we put a stop loss. We have an entry at 61.8 and we target either up to 50. And it is then a trade such that we have an equal distance between the entry and the take profit and stop loss, that is, we have a profit to risk of 1 to 1. Or we target ambitiously, i.e. 38.2, and then we have a risk to reward of 1 to 2. At the same time it is necessary to pay close attention at this targeting to 38.2 weather on the way here, for example, we do not have such a zone as we drew here on H1, which can stop this road of our trade to 31.8. Also, in this situation, it would probably be better to enter such a 1, 2, 1 option. How can we do that? We can use a trading panel that automates this nicely for us. That is, we put our harvest on the chart. If anyone is interested in this trading panel, I invite you to visit our website and there you can download a demo for yourself. We put harvest, put the stop loss and take profit lines on the chart, and set ourselves the take profit where it is 50, and the stop loss where it is 73.6. And at the moment we have more or less one to one. A little less, a little better ratio, because the price is slightly below that 61.8. We can choose, for example, that it is some fixed risk for a position of 100 PLN, alternatively, we can, for example, increase it to 500 PLN and then this position will be automatically recalculated for us. That is, we will have 0.26 lot and play a long position i.e. buy. And now as we turn off the FIBO we will see that we have opened exactly a position with a stop loss and take profit, which are set according to the FIBO levels from D1. And we played the H1 to also see where we could potentially target. And this is an example of a strategy based precisely on FIBO, which can be implemented. Also, you just add this level of 73.6 to yourself and look for inputs around 61.8. Well, and on M5, we will also see our D1 levels and we can also see the H1 levels. Because we had it set in the indicator that our higher TFS were H1 and D1. And as you can see at the moment the levels from the M5 of the H1 overlap because the impulse was very strong downward, and there was practically no rebound along the way. Also, this is what it looks like when it comes to such quick clicks through the instrument on individual TFS. And as you can see having autofibo you don't have to draw yourself manually on each TF, and analyze it only you can simply click with on that TF to watch what autofibo has automatically drawn for us.
And now maybe I'll tell you a little about the interface, i.e. these here buttons and the auto FIBO parameters. That is, let's go to the indicator settings. As a reminder, when we have an indicator attached to the chart and we want to change its settings, we right-click on the chart and enter the list of indicators option. That is, you can also quickly enter by clicking Ctrl plus I on the keyboard. We go in, we have a list of indicators, we click on the properties and the parameters of the indicator open. Also, those who saw the webinar on Autofibo 2.0 are certainly familiar with most of these parameters, also I will not discuss them in great detail. If anyone is interested, they can go back to just the YouTube video, which is about Autofibo 2.0. I will focus more on these new features that appeared in Autofibo 2.5, that is, everything we had before in Autofibo 2.0 is also here. You can set yourself colors, line thicknesses, line style so that you can adjust what the FIBO looks like on the chart to your own preferences. And now what has appeared new? On MT5, there is such an option of horizontal levels to the right. This relies on the fact that on MT5 you can control whether these FIBO levels they extend to the right or not. If we now have it turned on, you can see it draws here to the very end of the chart, and if we turn it off, as you can see the levels have shortened and they are only drawn to where this diagonal line ends. That is, the line that marked us after zigzag where the FIBO is drawn. Also, we go back to the indicator settings and make the setting back to yes, however. And now we have zone settings, something new in version 2.5. We can show the zone on the current TF, and we can also show zones on higher TFS. The beginning and end of the zone. That is, we can define for ourselves from what level to what level this zone will be drawn. The default is slightly below 50 and slightly above 61.8. If we are trading strictly for 61.8 then such a zone we can set ourselves a different one, that is, not starting at 48, but somewhere around, for example, 58, and ending at 65. And now as we click OK see this zone has redrawn for us and now it is just around the 61.8 level. That is, using just this option in the parameters, you can draw yourself such a zone where there is actually a level that, according to our strategy, we are trading. Well, and we also have the option to define the colors of these zones for upward swings and for downward swings. So that you can define for yourself these colors this salmon color that we have here for drops and then such a delicate green for gains. Also, as we click ourselves, for example, M5, M15, we continue to have this red zone on H1 is the same way. And on D1, as you can see we have this green color. And it, too, is now around 61.8, that is, according to those limits we defined for ourselves earlier in the indicator. All those parameters that were earlier are here, that is, we have showing the FIBO of the impulse of the correction range, which I will mention shortly, because I haven't talked about it yet. And iPulses of higher TFS. We can define for ourselves higher TFS, which means one hour or one day change to something else. And here we have more choice than MT4, for there are also many more TFS in MT5. Also, you can choose the ones that interest you, which serve as a signpost for trading on lower intervals. Which you look at to see where that higher TF context is. We can define additional FIBO levels. A while ago I showed you how to make yourself an additional level 73.6, you can define yourself two more. Zigzag settings have not changed in this version 2.5. And also some of the things that were in the parameters can be controlled here with these buttons that are in the lower left corner of the screen. At the top we have parameters regarding zigzag that is, this depth and this zagzag base parameter. It determines for us with what sensitivity the swings are detected. You can now change this value for yourself by clicking the plus or minus buttons or simply typing manually. This option here takes values from 4 to 24. Below you have buttons that control whether downward or upward swings are displayed. S is show a high dips and B, if we had gains here, it allows us to hide the FIBO on upward swings. 
and for the record, these are the ranges determined from the last correction, that is, the external levels. And now if you look, I'll switch of the others, we had here the last correction to this upward movement and from this correction determined external levels calculated FIBO. The indicator can also draw them, just turn on this EX option for yourself, and for the readability of the graph you can switch of all the others. Because the other buttons are used to show and hide drawn FIBO external levels from other intervals. This is the current interval, always the first button, and it will show, the one we are on and the two higher ones that you can define for yourself in the indicator settings, namely H1 and D1. And that's it as far as the indicator interface and what I wanted to tell you about it today.